Hello everybody, welcome back to another HCL Lego video. We are here at Prisano's Pizzeria of New York to do another pepperoni pizza review. It's been a while since we've done one. Yeah, it has. So let's go get some pizza. Let's go. Okay, so starting off with our starters, we have some tuxedo dip, we have some pine wheels, we have some freed calamari, and Perfect. yeah, some calamari, that's really all that matters. And then we have some wings, we have some soups and salads, we have some wraps, some plant-based items, some kids stuff, some DIY pies, some add-ons, some Italian favorites, some hero subs, we have some pizzas by the slice. Specialty pizzas, family dinner pizzas. They have some drinks. Um, side note, if you're looking at the menu, you can see on the menu these little pizza slices. I'm pretty sure that those are like their signature items. Another really cool thing that they do here for kids is a DIY pie. So the kids get to create their own one topping pizza. They also receive a photo to take home with them. You can add an extra topping for 79 cents if you want to. It is a little expensive for a kid's meal in the $9.99 price, but it is a pretty cool concept to do something different for the kids to make their own pizza. And of course they have a couple other uh, items there on the kids menu as well. I would like to point, I'd like to point out the logo. We got ourselves, here I'll use my pointer. We have ourselves the pizza right here for the C, for the O. And then the apostrophe actually is a part of the pizza. And for the double Z, they actually have two big Zs. Just a little hidden thing. And also they have the slice of pizza coming out in the background. So we just talked to the waitress and she said the best appetizers here are the tuxedo dip, which is the creamy artichoke and spinach served with the fried bow tie pasta and the eggplant rollatini. We got one of each. So we'll, we'll check it out. A nice sand pit out here with some sandy volleyball and a what and some sandy volleyball and guys i just love sand volleyball and then we have a no parking fire lane too bad because we were about to park here and then they like started honking at us so oh no in case the fire happens at the volleyball pit can't be doing that and then there's the inside very small restaurant looks like you would go up and order in there but you actually don't we're get we got the whole outside to ourselves okay so we got the fried bow tie sweet pasta what sweet suit bow tie sweet suit with spinach tuxedo dip, is that what you're trying to say spinach dip <laughs> and fried calamari it's not fried calamari fried bow tie yes so let's go ahead and try this, guys. I've never had fried bow tie in my life. Until the other day. <laughs> well, he's trying that. The other thing that we got is the eggplant rollatini. As you can see, it's eggplant rolled up with ricotta in the middle. Cheese on top with a marinara sauce also looks amazing. We didn't get that, our friends did. All right, so what are your My thoughts? My opinion is it's a real interesting take on spaghetti, or where am I, where is it? <clears throat> it's a real interesting take on spinach dip because normally you have chips, sometimes purple chips, and they're only, you get like one bite and then the whole spinach dip is just sitting there waiting for you. These are nice little dippers. They're kind of like the Totino or Tostitos dip cone chips. You just get all of it in one. It does have a good taste. Mm hmm. So there's a little cross section of the eggplant rollatini. It's pretty good. Go ahead. What you think? Rolly poly. Rolly poly. It's not bad. Okay. I'm getting a little bit of like you know like the crushed kids Advil. 
What? Got like the grape. Kind of getting like that grapeish hint to it. What in the world? But other than that, I'm not even getting. It tastes good, but I'm getting like. Because you know, I talked about this in our one of our video Disney Springs videos. I have no idea which one it was. We were at Amaretto's or whatever. The, I talked about rat like strawberries, like the fruit, and mm -hmm. then the strawberry flavored, like fi like flavoring is completely I remember this. different, right? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like it's not great, but it's like that grape flavor, like that like. I definitely do not taste anything grape at all. But, I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't know, guys. But, Trust I me. I think it's pretty good though. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, you probably need to like eggplant to like this dish, which I do. But it definitely looks really good. It has a good taste. So between the two, what do you think is better? I'd probably say the fried um, rollatini. Yeah. But they are very different. The only, if I was going to have one negative about the spinach dip, I've, I've gotten a couple of the pasta pieces that are a little over fried. So it's almost like really crunchy instead of like a little crunch with the soft pasta in the middle, you know? That would be my only thing about these. It's just got a little, some of them are just a little overdone. So it might look like it's good to y'all, but it's actually really dark out here. We got our new equipment. If you guys haven't seen that video, make sure you check it out. Link is in the corners in the description, but I'm just kidding, it's not in the description, but it's in the corners. So yeah, just thought I'd mention that, how good our gear is, guys. Couldn't have gotten it without y'all's viewer support yeah we'll put this in as a as a mile marker for our channel we just hit 260 already yes sir oh i was gonna say 260 261 today we'll see if it's 262 <laughs> so thank you all for watching keep subscribing keep sharing the channel if you haven't already subscribed go hit the subscribe button real quick and then with come back nose. for some pizza. <laughs> no, you don't have to do it with your nose. Do it with your ears. If you guys can successfully hit it with your ear somehow, do it. Just let us know <laughs> in the comments if you hit it with your ear. If you guys like eating pizza, make sure you guys go check out our playlist for our pepperoni pizza reviews. It will be in the corners up there, up there, up there, up there. So go watch those. Also, we have a new playlist. Oh, my producers are telling me it is called AC on the go eats. Sorry about that. There's a little delay, all the signals. Um, so make sure you guys go check those playlists out. We are just filling them buckets. <laughs> <laughs> so we just got our pizza, guys. It is pepperoni, like you already know. It's a pepperoni pizza review video. Oh, and one, it is floating. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, wow. Wait, lift it up like that. See if that's a good thumbnail, Mom. Let the cheese drip. But so we have some it's very similar to melon mushroom. I'm gonna give it a 10. So <laughs> So we're gonna actually use a fork. Shout out to all the forkians out there who eat pizza with forks. <clears throat> so it looks very similar to I don't know. <laughs> What? The crust is really good. The crust is spot on, guys. The pizza, in all in all, is a good pizza. It's just not like the best pizza. <laughs> um, which, normally my first bite is always a bad review. So maybe after I keep eating it, it'll get better. What is your review? We'll finish that slice, and then we'll come back with some reviews. I will say they are monster slices, or a pretty large slice for a large pizza. Kind of a thinner crust, as you can see there. So 
reviews on the pizza, it is very similar to if you go to a MLB stadium. Let's say we go to Centrist Park, link in the corners. Now Truist Park. Now Truist Park also, oh yeah, we gotta do a Truist Park video now. We can really cheese the system and go to the <laughs> same park and get a different thing. Right. Speaking of parks, make sure you guys go check out our stadium tours, link in the corner. Also while you're there, we also have Stadium Eats. But, so you know like if you go to a stadium, NFL, it could be anything. They have like your three main, three, four places. You have your chicken finger and fish place. You have your hamburger and hot dogs place. You have your nachos and taco place. And you have your pizza place. So four places instead of three. I said three or four. Okay. So it kind of tastes like you went and you got one of those big slices on like the paper cardboard little fold up thing that the people in the back are just going. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what they taste like. It tastes like that pizza, like the big jumbo slice and the cardboard thing. Which is not a bad thing. No, you're sitting there eating it, right? The ball lands in your lap and the thing goes everywhere. <laughs> that kind of pizza. So it basically, to sum all that up, <laughs> it has like a stadium pizza feel. Yes. But not again, a not a bad thing, yeah. So we just finished here at Fasano's Pizzeria of New York. Um, so all in all, what would you give your rating, your pepperoni so, pizza review on the scale of zero to ten? I'm going to say probably a five. I think it was good. Like it wasn't bad. We didn't have five a bad experience. Five being the scale of five being average. <laughs> yeah, five being average. Not seven being average or eight. Well, seven. seven is not average between one and zero and ten. Five I know, is like average. Some people think like seven's average. Like, Nobody thinks that. Yes, they do. Zero to ten, I they would think five is your average. I probably, I probably. It's halfway. It has to be your average. But anyway, I would say probably a five. Um, Just average. Yeah, I mean it was it was okay. The appetizers were okay. The pizza was okay. It was nothing amazingly special. But just an average pizza. I think the best analogy was Carter's analogy about the stadium pizza. I think that is a great analogy. Not that it's bad, but it was it was it was average. I was giving myself a nine point five. Nine and a half. Nine and a half? Yes, sir. Is what you're rating this. Nine and a half. Where nine and a half is average? Wow. <laughs> no, five is average, nine and a half. You are not rating this man. <laughs> my producers are oh. <laughs> my producers are telling me I can't rate it now. I'm gonna yeah. give it a six. Okay. So. so you liked it just a little bit more than me? Yes. Okay. Five point one. I like <laughs> I like that. But yeah, if you're in the Kennesaw area, you wanna check out some pizza. It is right up the street from Kennesaw University, so I'm yeah, sure it's PGA a superstore. I'm sure it's a great spot for the college kids to come down here and grab some pizza. I highly recommend that. Um, it's right across the street, right next to our Brewster's. So you can grab some ice cream right after too. So, but we had a good time. It was a good experience. So don't, don't forget, forget to, to turn, turn on, on the AC. AC.